The employees at this sportswear supplier outside Shanghai are rushing to fill an order for 15,000 bike shirts. But at least they're getting paid more for their efforts than ever before. Liu Ling, who tracks inventory at the factory, has seen her paycheck grow from $130 a month in 2007 to $320 a month now. If you work in a factory, you can make a bit of money and cover your basic expenses. A shortage of skilled workers is driving up demand. Employee wanted ads like these in Beijing now regularly promise benefits like free housing and health insurance. But Liu and her husband are still living month to month. Her salary is eaten up by record high food prices and ballooning housing costs. Even for the simple home Liu shares with her husband, which has a television but no running water. The price of everything has increased a lot compared to before, for clothing and vegetables or meat. Complaints about the rising cost of living are common across China. The government says it's trying to help workers cope by forcing employers to hand out bigger salaries, but it's a tricky balancing act. If wages escalate too much, manufacturers might leave China in search of cheaper labor elsewhere. Liu Ling's boss tries to attract loyal employees with free meals and bonus pay. But he worries he'll eventually be squeezed out of the country once known as the world's factory. Long term, I'm looking at uh, possibly uh, thinking of a production in uh, another third world country. In the short term, rising salary costs will be passed on to customers. The orders from America and the UK are very price conscious. That's the word, very, very price conscious. So I have to uh, reconsider my prices. The whole scenario holds one bright spot for the U.S. economy. Wealthier Chinese workers might eventually become eager consumers of American goods. If Chinese consumption can rise sufficiently to absorb more of what China produces, that means China will be selling less to the rest of the world, and that will create a, a demand boost for the rest of the world. But there is one possible bright spot for the U.S. economy. If China's surging inflation levels off and higher wages hold, millions of Chinese workers might have that extra money to buy American. Celia Hutton, CBS News, Beijing.